So when we when we came to build our um, cloud product, we basically and, and Sharon mentioned we have around forty providers that are working with us today, different at different sizes, different geographies. Uh, we've basically went to interview them and understand what's important to them for them in order to be able to build a successful DR as a service offering based on our technology. Right? We we already knew that obviously the hardware agnostic capability is important, right? They don't need to match whatever the customers are uh, having. Uh, that was one important part of it. But when you go to do to build a cloud service, you have to make sure that you you have other capabilities, right? You want to have a multi-tenant service. You want to have a secure service. You want to have all sorts of capabilities that we obviously needed to build. So we interviewed, uh, I would say, probably around 30 service providers uh, that are all part of our ecosystem. And they basically, if we kind of try to take the whole feedback and, uh, that we got early on, uh, you could basically say that what we've got is like the, the three pillars uh, of the cloud that we needed to address in order to have uh, a successful pro cloud product. The first thing that we needed to address is obviously true multi-tenancy. And when I say true multi-tenancy, I talk about the ability for to host multiple customers and protect multiple customers with a single Zerto system in the in the cloud side. You don't need to go and duplicate the Zerto infrastructure, right? We've, we've seen here the ZVMs, we've seen here the VRAs. You don't want to go and duplicate the infrastructure for each customer that you're bringing into the cloud. You must have the ability to provide true, real, multi-tenancy with a single footprint on the cloud side, right? The second aspect that we had to address was obviously when you talk about multi-tenancy and the true multi-tenancy, you have to address security, right? So there are aspects like management security and data security, making sure that one customer cannot see each other, one customer cannot see the other, they cannot operate on each other's you know, data and VPGs. It must be very, very secure. And there's another aspect here when we're talking about the R as a service, there's also the networking security aspect of it. How do I make sure that customer A and customer B will not interlace networking-wise, right? They have to have their own networks totally separated, and we have to make sure that even though we use a shared infrastructure at the backend, from the networking perspective, they will have no single touch point that they all touch together. Uh, and we've built that. And the second and the third aspect that we got was the uh, abstraction and assignment of resources in the cloud, right? When I'm when I'm cloud vendor and I'm I'm having this my cloud here uh, my resources in the cloud this, the compute and storage resources I have to be able to make sure that I can decide what is exposed to each customer which tier of service how many storage how many compute resources are being uh, given to each customer and I also want to be able to abstract them I want to be able to not expose my real clusters, my real data stores. I want to be able to basically hide them. So we talked about VCD, and VCD is an excellent way to do resource abstraction and assignment, right? We also encountered uh, uh, many, many service providers that are not using free cloud director, and they still wanted to use our services, and we've built our own native multi-tenancy into the product. So these are, these are kind of the three main aspects, and within them, we had to make sure that we we answer all the aspects that they had. So basically, two main use cases when you're talking about the cloud vendor, right? Either the R for applications that are hosted in the cloud, hosted in one data center and are replicated and backed up in a different data center. Or that we're talking about an enterprise, right, with their own storage and host and are connected to the cloud vendor and are doing the R as a service, right? And when we talk about this, we had to make sure that they can get in. What we added from the networking perspective was 
a cloud connector, a networking element that allowed us to basically get the traffic on a replication network, on a customer replication network into the cloud in a secure, segregated manner. So basically this cloud connector, this Zerto cloud connector, is going to be uh, an element that's deployed from within the Zerto system for each customer that is replicating into the cloud in a the as a service scenario and allows us to basically use the shared infrastructure at the backend without um, exposing the, the endpoints uh, between different customers. Does that all make sense? Yeah, that's really, really hard to, to do, though, if you've got only one appliance to assure security. And you, I mean, so, so the Z cloud connector is one per customer, okay. right? Okay. That's the one element, that's the only element that you... So it's the appliance that's shared. Yeah. The, right, so the infrastructure, the replication infrastructure at the end, at the back end, is shared. You don't have, you get, there are many benefits to, do, to go with this approach, right? Now you have centralized management here. You don't need to manage per customer. You don't need to have resources, compute resources per customer. So the replication back end is shared, right? But we make sure that the customer is not cannot touch it directly. And at the management level, there's complete separation. The cloud vendor, they can have centralized management. Each customer with their own console, they get to see only what they are entitled okay. to, yeah. right? And the networking is completely separated. We've built all this logic into the, on, into the product to make it real, true, multi-tenant product. 